Good morning, everyone. Today's our last day in Valencia. We are going to go, I think, to the Science Center and maybe to like the marina. We're, we're not totally sure. It's our last day, so we're gonna feel it out, see what we can get accomplished. And since it's our last day, I am trying to get all of the laundry just finished. And I'm a little worried that this drying rack isn't gonna have everything dry in time. So some of the items, I braved it and I went and hung them outside. We'll see how that does. It's not too windy, so I don't think it's, they're gonna blow away or anything, but we're pretty high up there. I'm, uh, this is the, in America, we would call this the seventh floor. Here they call it the sixth floor, and it's, it, we're pretty high up. Hopefully they don't flutter down into an area I can't get to. We're walking through the park right now on our way to the Science Center where there's a Pixar exhibit, and uh, Jacob's really into visual effects and rendering and uh, CGI stuff, so we're gonna check that out today. over Jacob's channel yeah it's funny to watch Bailey uh, manipulate this because she is making the same ex expressions with her eyebrows and her mouth and stuff I do the same thing whenever I'm animating something or like drawing a cartoon or whatever I'm, I'm like trying out the expression on my face and I don't know why that like translates down onto the paper or the computer or whatever it is I'm working on but Bailey's doing it right now and it's kind of fun to watch. How's the bug's life? Pretty good. It's pretty cool. I have to hold still because Jacob's animating me right now. Okay. A little bit. Jacob just did a more intense stop motion animation. Let's see what it looks like. This, what is right in front of me, is an exhibit for UV unwrapping, which is like texturing a model it's like wrapping an image around a model and like making it look right and so you start out with like uh, your texture and it's usually a, a two-dimensional shape because it's an image and so you have to figure out how to wrap it around your model like this and this is actually a vacuum so it's actually not in 3d but here it's a vacuum to show anyways it's it's cool So I think it was around eight years ago, we went to the actual like Pixar studios where they make the Pixar films and got a studio tour. It was super, super cool. We got to check out their offices and talk to some of the directors and animators there. It was really neat. And Jacob's super interested in, in computer animation and rendering and uh, model building and all that stuff. So we already had a little bit of a background on like what they do there. But this exhibit is so well done it is so interactive and it's so neat seeing all the the students that are here learning how to do stop-motion animation and rendering in these little like bite-sized chunks these really cool ways of introducing these concepts to the to the students I don't know it's just set up really really cool and we've only been in this 
section of it, I just found out that there's another whole section that we haven't even gone into yet. So it's pretty cool. We're on the escalator going to the next floor up to see what other sciencey things we can learn. I don't know why, I always thought those tree cutter ants were super fascinating. Easiest way is to look at the floor. Citizens and visitor of Mars. Today we will have a classic winter day. Dad, prove yourself. I, I wasn't recording. Wait. Okay, Dad. Make it in the basket, you have these like eye goggles. Oh, that was close, that was close. That was real close. Way off. It was actually... We made it. All right, we just finished at the Science Museum, which was very cool. A lot of hands-on exhibits and like different ways of taking in the information, which I thought was really cool. Uh, it was fun going through with Bailey and Jacob and just like experiencing each little element of it. We were there a few hours. I think we, we probably could have done a few more hours, to be honest, like there was more stuff to see, but we all got kind of hungry. So we're gonna go eat some food now. Also, we were so lucky to have been there when the Pixar exhibit was here because it's like the perfect exhibit for Jacob. It focused more on all of the stuff that he does all the time and I just thought that was so neat. I don't know if it's a traveling exhibit and if it's like going to another city, but highly recommended, especially if you're into Jacob's stuff. Like Also, it was cool for us as parents 
because Jacob was like explaining things in yeah. a much more tangible, easy way. He understood it and he understood it all. They had like, I feel like the words that he uses all the time that I'm like, I don't know what word that like, what, what does he say? Like, I mean, there's render. He says render a lot. And then <laughs> what was the ext extrusions? What was the one that was about like moving there? I was there laughing at me so hard right now. Each, there was an exhibit on like each word that he says all the time that I'm like, Jacob, I don't know what that means. So it was really cool. And I kind of do know what it means at this point. Like at this point, I, I can kind of recognize it because he shows it to me so much, but. But it was cool seeing it laid out in the way that they laid it out. Like the way that they explained everything made it very easy to understand. The word I was looking for was rigging. I have been told by everybody else. Subsurface <laughs> scattering? No, I don't even, I just noticed rigging a lot. I was like, Jacob, you say rigging. Particle simulation. All right, we finished lunch, which was Moroccan food. Very good. And now we're gonna check out some of the Baez uh, festivities on our way back to, uh, to our apartment. How's lunch for you? Very good. See, told you. We're having a nice, relaxing stroll through the park. People are throwing firecrackers all over the place. <laughs> it's relaxing. It's fine. I, th I feel like Jacob is not relaxed. I'm, I'm relaxed. fine. You're fine? Okay. What do you think of all the fireworks everywhere? Very fun. It's very different from California. Yeah. I feel like we would be too scared if the thing would, like, burn. Well, it's also, it's incredibly illegal to have these kinds of fireworks in California. Not here though, right? Not here, no. Here, encouraged. Okay, so today we went to the Science Center and uh, we saw the Pixar exhibit that as well as really some cool. other things. Yeah, that was really cool. We kind of lost you, Bailey. I felt like when we went upstairs, you just sort of like found exhibits and got, kind of got lost in the maze. Yeah. And were exploring all on your own. I wanted to see everything. So. What was your favorite thing in there? In the Science Museum part? Or yeah, the, science, like, the, science part. The, the bottom part. Okay. The upper part. The upper I part. know what your favorite thing, and we'll get to your favorite thing on the bottom part. What was your favorite thing on the upper part? Uh, I mean, I liked all the like interactive exhibits. That mm -hmm. was pretty cool. I also really liked that they had an axolotl there. Yeah. Because, I mean, axolotl. The axolotl. What was your favorite part of the museum? Um, probably the Pixar exhibit because, uh, I don't know, it was cool to see how Pixar made the movies. Bailey spent hours watching one egg. She very much wanted to see one egg hatch. And this little chick just poked a little hole <laughs> in the egg. We watched that one egg, or Bailey watched that one egg while we explored other parts for so long. And he never hatched. So I drew a little cartoon of that stubborn chick. We actually went back to the place we went to for the first day in Valencia. What was that place called? It was called uh, or the first Ol one. Olrate. And uh, while we were there, there was another table uh, speaking a lot in English, but a lot in a bunch of different languages. And as we were leaving, uh, one of the guys said, hey, are you from America? And started talking to us because he had been from America, but he was an expat. And he was having a like meeting with a bunch of people kind integrating. Of learning each other's languages. Yeah. And they were having a big party and one of the guys brought a bunch of fake mustaches. 
and encouraged the people at the table to wear them. And then he gave us mustaches and I put mine inside of here uh, to commemorate that, that little moment. So that, that was kind of fun. Tomorrow we leave Valencia and we go to Tarragona, which- We take a train. We do take a train. It's one of the coolest places. Like I thought it was a very cool place. A lot of history. We go explore Roman ruins. Um, my birthday happens while we're there. Boats. It's gonna be fun. Lots of yachts. And Jacob and I might have poisoned ourselves. We might have. You'll find we out might, more about that on have. the next video. We might not survive, guys. <laughs> it's possible we didn't survive <laughs> the trip. Completely impossible. It's possible. You don't know. We never you made it know. home in the first place. This might have been pre-recorded, and then I put fake braces <laughs> I, in. I, I and freak, then we faked the whole trip. The whole journal is a lie. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, uh, if you like today's video, make sure that you like it on, officially on YouTube and write something nice in the comment section. Also, if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing we really appreciate it i Thank definitely you. recommend it it's really cool of you super cool that. of you <laughs> thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time Bye. Oh my god it was so good <laughs>